And in business, the President Mohamed Buhari on Monday signed the 2020 financial bill into law. The special advisor to the President of Media and Publicity, Femi Adishino, confirmed this development in a statement in Abuja. According to the presidential aide, this is sequel to its passage by the National Assembly and subsequent forwarding by the legislature to the President for assent. It would be recalled that the President, while presenting the 2020 appropriation bill to the National Assembly, had also presented the financial bill. Live in the studio with me is Taiwo Eideli of Price of the House Coopers. Thank you very much for joining me in the studio. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so um, going straight to this, the president has now signed the financial bill. Good to say that it's now a financial act, right? So finance act rather. Yes, finance yes, certainly. act. Certainly, help us understand the objective of this financial act. Yeah, so Mr. President, uh, when he was presenting the budget in 2019, um, accompanied the budget with the finance bill and it's the first time in 20 years since 1999 that we have such um, a development. Mm -hmm. And some of the objectives include fiscal equity, so people pay according to their ability and that mm -hmm. people are treated equally under similar circumstances. You have promoting MSMEs. Mm -hmm. You also have reforming Nigerian tax laws to be in line with global standards. You also have provisions there to provide incentive for infrastructure development as well as, of course, raising revenue for government. Um, so these are some of the strategic objectives. Uh, unfortunately, the bill wasn't sent to the president along with the budget. So the budget was signed first, and then the bill was presented to Mr. President. Because the original intention was for the bill to take effect from 1st of January. So now that it has been signed, um, Nigerians need to be aware that it does not mean that it's effective because we don't know the provisions of the law. You cannot implement a law based on spe speculations. So yes, we had, yeah, uh, we had information about the content of the bill, but we do not have information about the content of the acts. So what the law requires is this has to be gazetted, which means you have to make it public officially. Until such a time, the laws that we know, including the tax rate assisting, such as VAT at five percent, would continue. All right, so at what point should we expect um, them saying, oh, this, is, this has now started being implemented? Because as it is now, it's not been implemented, it's just been signed. Yeah, so it, it will take effect. So there are two possibilities. One is, of course, uh, whatever it is, we have to wait to see the official documents through gazetting. Now, once it's been gazetted, there are two possibilities. One is there could be a date on the, on the acts. And that date will say, this law shall commence as of. So that becomes the effective date. And that date could be in the near future. It could be February, it could be March, it could be later on. To allow for both the tax authorities and the taxpayers and the business community to prepare and be ready for that. Second possibility is that the bill, now an act, may be gazetted without an effective date. If that is the case, there's an interpretation act that says the law takes effect the day it was signed into law. Then that means it will take effect from yesterday. Uh, we're hoping that will not be the case because, uh, for example, many vendors and merchants need to adjust their system to reflect the new VAT rate. You can't go back and charge VAT yesterday if you didn't charge it and the person has bought the item and they've gone home and consumed it. Mm -hmm. So we're hoping that all this will be taken into consideration for effective implementation. Moving forward. Now, one thing that I know is going to impact on Nigerians directly is the VAT increase from 5% to 7.5%. What's your Indeed. take on that? Yeah, so I think it's a necessary um, compromise. So some people are winners, even under the VAT law, because the list of exempt items have been expanded uh, to cover basic food items, the things that people would normally consume uh, if they are not flamboyant and extravagant, uh, including education, Medicare, all those are exempted. Like so which means serious goods. E exactly, and services. items. So and then for the rest of us who are middle class, upper class, who like to consume a bit of luxury or non-basic items, then they will pay a little bit more. So the overall impact, I think it's going to be positive because um, you are only asking people who have the ability to pay more, to pay a little bit more, not the poor people. Hopefully use that extra cash to be able to pay minimum wage, provide social mm -hmm. services and build infrastructure that will benefit everyone. 
Now, when you started, you did mention that one of the priorities of this um, financial act now is for the ease of doing business, um, in, you know, ensuring that the business environment is more friendly. Would you suggest that this would f further, you know, make this a reality for us? Yeah, indeed, uh, particularly for small businesses. So you don't have to register for VAT. Your company income tax rate is down to 0%. You can now use email to communicate with tax authorities. So some of those reforms uh, I mean, like generally... The tax burden remov removal for people that earn what below 25 million? What's yeah, so it's for businesses. Companies that have annual turnover of 25 million or less in a calendar year will not pay company income tax anymore. Uh, stamp duty that we pay on using POS, buying fuel at the filling station, the threshold is going to go up now to 10,000, so which means majority of Nigerians will have to pay. So overall, this I think would improve the business environment, mm -hmm. but also not just the business environment, the livelihood of individuals, uh, even if they are not doing any businesses. All right, thank you so much. Because of time, that's about all we can have for now. But thank you for joining us. In thank the you studio. for having thank me. You so much. Yeah.